Did you say rolling? I couldn't tell if you said rolling or not. Rolling. Oh, you are? Can you stop? All right, one more time. <laughs> I can't wait. Find me! Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Badass Outdoors. This week we are filming with NRS and we are on my brand new slipstream raft doing coho on my home rivers, which is so special to me, as you know. I'm on a break from school, so I'm out here fishing, of course, because I'm a fish bum. So don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel so you can follow along on the adventures. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming out of this shoot and I can't wait for you all to see it. So let's get rolling. We are out here on the Quinault River today, casting spinners for coho. It's early in the season, so lots of potted fish are entering the rivers right now. You rubbed your belly, that's all it wants. Those views is what it looks like when a pot of coho have just entered the chat. They're moving to the right, right here. You've got a couple split off on the left. That's a pod, and that's a handful of fish. We've been watching them come up from that next bend of water for a little bit now, and these fish are gonna hit us soon. And guess who's gonna be there waiting? That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're kind of playing a game of hunting for them. We're looking for sign, we're looking for rolling fish. And my friend Jay Michelle is back here casting at any deep area where they could be traveling or holding. So some of the things that you want to use for this, for coho in the Pacific Northwest, is number four or number five spinners. A good thing to keep on hand is some twitching jigs and also some eggs or some large beads because Chinook can be in the system right now as well. And every now and then you get lucky and you get a coho on one of those as well. So today we did about a five or six mile float down the uh, very lower section of the Quinault River and we're picking our way through pockets and we've hooked into a couple of fish. fish. Oh, fish. and we've got a fish on fish. right now. Nice work, friends. That couldn't have worked out any better for us. Nice. Do you need to get on your stuff? Oh, oh man. Gosh, so, dang so it. No, that's all good. As you can see, the tactic works. This kind of idea of finding the deep travel lanes for fish is definitely what we can do. And we might have some other Wildlife joining us here for this little clip. My dog's gonna tell them off for us. So we've come into this corner pocket on the bend of the river. And on the outside of the river, where it's kind of meeting the bank here, there's a big slough and drop off. And we're noticing that as those fish come in upriver, they like to stack up right here in this slough. Yes! 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 Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, can I, I, I gotta get out of here. You tell, okay. No, no, heck yeah. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, really? Ollie. Not. No, sir. No, sir. Ollie, stay. Nice work, Ashley. <laughs> Yeah, there it is, there it is. Nice work. Perfect. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh, he's not ready. Not ready. He's like, I would like to, uh... So if we can make a couple of casts around the um, gill net anchors here, we can usually pick up a few fish. Now we've seen them roll here. And again, coho fishing can be a lot like hunting. So you're looking for sign, you're looking for some sort of indicator that fish are around, whether they be jumping or Vs that are coming up the river, like sometimes we see. 
And so we've seen the fish roll, like we've been through this section a handful of times this year, enough to know that they're still holding up here. So Jay Michelle is picking through where she can make casts here, and we're gonna see if we can try to connect with a coho. Now we've also found that the fish biting is really dependent on the tides this low in the river. And we do have some fish moving around us right here that I'm seeing swim, but um, yesterday when we were here about an hour after the tide, high tide and high slack, these fish had pushed up river and were clearly on the move. They were jumping everywhere. We're not seeing as much of that today, but we still are seeing them settle into some of these pockets. And generally, if we pick through these pockets carefully enough and sneak up on them like we can in this raft, we can get a couple of fish to go. So we, we will see if we can try that today. And then we'll fish out the rest of the river here and that'll be our fishing day. That's it. We all fished a few days together and by switching out the tactics that we were using, using great spinners and fun new colors and picking through, looking for sign for coho, we had a great time catching fish and we had a great time doing the actual fishing. Ready? Get rolling. For glory! For Glory and for Thaddeus refers to the new color of Steelhead Slammers, the Badash series. I named one Jules of Thaddeus. We had way too much fun with this. Link for those spinners in the description if you want your own. Girl. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to take it out of sight. Take it over, Jay Michelle. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it from me. I was going to say but you should like and subscribe though. Really, please, we like the video and subscribe. We actually do need that. It's important to the cause. And if you don't, I'm, I'm sure it'll be in some sort of trouble. I don't really know what it is, but you can prevent that. Prevent whatever it is to come. Just like and subscribe, just do it. Tell them, tell them again. Just do it, like and subscribe. Just subscribe, Thanks. just subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> please. <Yeah. laughs> I understand at this point if you don't. I understand at this point if you don't. I don't know if I would at this point. <laughs> I mean, but still like it. You don't have to subscribe. But please still like it. <laughs> That's all I had. That's all I had. It's all I had. I don't know what else to give you. I don't know. Give them something, Jay Michelle. Give them something. I got nothing. <laughs> I that was a nice thing. cast you gave them. That was a good cast. Thanks. I You're think welcome. that's a gift. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> a huge thanks to NRS for this amazing raft. Thank you to my friend Oli Woman on the Fly for joining me. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.